Back when I was a teenager and I started collecting and showing model horses, I used to go to a show called Lethbridge Live. That show then changed to Damtown Live. For this year, it was brought back to Lethbridge. Mom and I made a trip out of it and we decided to go. So this is the vlog from that weekend adventure. So I started by packing up all of my models. I was just going to take custom horses this time around. I wasn't going to show OF Briar, so I pulled basically all of my customs. I buy these black bins and then I pad them out with bubbles, add a blanket, and then put each custom in their own little fleecy pony pouch. And then I actually stand them up in the bottom of the bin and put a piece of foam in between each one. So they're wedged into there like a lasagna. And then I put the blanket on top and I can stack a few more on top. And then that's basically how I pack everything. So I got it all ready to go and got myself ready to go. And then we waited for pickup with my mom's truck because I had too many bins. <laughs> And then we head on the road to Lethbridge. Uh, the scene scape is really pretty. It goes from very mountainous to very flat prairie. And when you hit Lethbridge, the iconic bridge is there. So we stayed in this kind of janky hotel with suspicious things on the wall. Um, this is a two day show. So we woke up the first day and had our included breakfast headed to the show hall with all of the stuff and we got there a little bit early so that we could unpack everything and set up my table which was crazy the venue was super cool this year it was above the racetrack so we actually got to watch the horse races out the giant windows while showing bobby always does a really good job of hosting this event and i actually offered for the very first time to judge the of briar division so i forfeited showing and i judged it instead i have enough knowledge at this point and i've done a lot of photo showing so it's essentially the same thing but some of these briar classes were hard like very hard my mom was in charge of showing my only peter stone bunny and she was very excited to do it. She ended up missing the color class somehow. She had like one job and she was so upset that she screwed it up. But the judge said the horse probably wouldn't have won anyways. So whatever. So it was fine. And down on the racetrack, they had like live animals, which was fun. But I spent the entire day on my feet picking my favorite OF Briars. And yeah, it was a tough decision to pick overall winners at the end. They were all so, so lovely. So I ended up picking this reserve champion Alborozo and grand champion Chocolatey. That model was nice. Uh, Briar did a good job on that one. So that's who won. I had a much needed break before day two. This was the day that I would be showing all of my customs off and checking out all of the eye candy. So it's always a joy to see everybody's wonderful painted models from artists all over the world. There's definitely a variety that come and show at our Canadian shows. Tammy Palomarchuk is always there and she does really well with all of her horses. She's kind of my toughest competition. This is my mom's mule. And for the first several classes, I didn't actually have a lot of horses. I don't have a lot of sport and light breeds. So this was mostly everybody else's, but it was definitely fun to check everything out. <laughs> It was nice to be able to sit this day. I was so tired and so sore from the previous day. Then we started out with the drafts and Basilis got first and then he actually got a reserve champion in draft, which was very exciting because I'm competing against resins with my sculptures. So it's a big deal when they win. Sonder got a second place, which was very exciting because I painted and sculpted her. And this was the Mustang class. Look at the star watches. Look at what I'm up against. And look at how I did. Oh my gosh, Judas got a first. 
Oh, I was so excited. And Ghost got a third. So we beat out we beat out Stormwatch. This is the callback table for the stocks, and those are all my horses. And the judge really liked e Judas. <laughs> this was such a big moment. I was dancing for that win. This was our champion, but Judas did me proud. So there's always lots to see to wander around and go check it out. These Arab costumes were crazy. Medallion class callbacks were really good. I had quite a few first and second places. That was exciting. More horse races happening throughout the whole day. So cool. And the Briar custom class was in conjunction. So this is simple customs. And so my horses were split between this class and the resin class. Fable got a reserve. <laughs> Scorpio got a first place, which is exciting. These classes were really big, so it was a big deal to get much of anything. And Duke got on the table. He didn't place at all. Either did any of the customs I scrambled to finish before the show. <laughs> it's classic. All the stress for nothing. And this was the callback. Scorpio, we got Doris in there, Sirius, Pongo, and New Money, who I sold to my lovely friend Mary. So she was my custom, but I wasn't showing her Mary was, and she took overall grand champion. Scorpio ended up getting a champion in color. Then the end of the day class that's one of the best ones is the fantasy division so Tallulah gets out there and so she was next to Jen Alp's two wonderful fantasy customs and Christie's crazy Kelpie. It was cool to see these next to each other because they're very opposite personalities but Tallulah won that class which was very very rewarding. <laughs> And then this was the callbacks for resins. So we have a Bacillus, Fable, and Judas out there, which is huge, such a big deal. And then we drive all the way back home after the show is over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my little mini vlog. I hope that you can all experience a live model horse show one day as well.